Hi, today we're going to talk about the experiment we did to find the height of the flagpole even though we can't measure it directly. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use trigonometry to find the height of the objects that you can't measure directly. Um, these are the materials. A really long tape, tool for measuring angle of elevation, calculator, and a very smart friend. To find the distance, you need to measure the distance from the flagpole to wherever you're standing. Use the tool for measuring angle of elevation and find the angle from eye level. So, this is the person and from eye level, we find the angle of elevation to the, to the flagpole, to the top of the flagpole. Then we calculate the height of the flagpole by using tangent. Yay! Yay! And you, you got, got the answer. answer. Concept, you know the measures of two angles and any side of a triangle. You know the measures of two sides and angle opposite one of these sides of the triangles. To know the total height of a flagpole, you use the height of a flagpole plus the height of Mickey. First, we have to know the angle of elevation here, and we use tangent because we know the opposite opposite side and the adjacent side. This is what we use to measure the flagpole. First, we need to measure the angle of elevation. Then we can use trigonometry to measure the height. So where the weight hands are, is our approximate angle of elevation. Then we can calculate the height of the flagpole. So to find out how tall the flagpole is, the first thing we did was to measure the distance between the flagpole and the person who is measuring the angle, and in this case we got 30 meters. And the second thing we did was to measure the height of the person who is measuring the angle from the eye level, and we got 1.7 meters. And the last thing we did was to measure the angle from the eye level to the top of the flagpole, and we got 15 degrees. So to review the information, we got the base of 30 meters and the angles was 15 degrees and we want to know X, which is the height of the flagpole. As you can see right here, it is a right triangle so you can use sine cos 10. The side that we want to know is the opposite side from the angle and the side that we already know is the adjacent side from the angle. So in this case, we can use 10. Now let's bring our information back in and plug into our equation. So 10, 15, the measurement of the angle, equal x, the opposite side, over 30, which is the adjacent side. And when you solve all the equation, you get x equals 8.04. And also, don't forget to add in the height of the person who measured the angle, or else you won't get the whole height of the flagpole. So just add 1.7 to 8.04, and you will get the height of the flagpole, which is 9.74 meters.